Hey guys, it's Jamie, and in today's video I'm going to be showing you all of my hamster supplies. So first I'll just start out with a lot of the hamster supplies that I have is actually just in my hamster cage. Um, some of it is in this unit, but a lot of it is over there in my dresser. So I'll just start off with what's in the cage. So firstly we just have my hamster here. He's actually a robo hamster and his name is Turtle. He's pretty cute. So he's just in a peanut house that was actually from Petco, I believe. And beside that, there's just this tree trunk hideaway that was from PetSmart. And this bend bridge, I believe, was also from PetSmart. And then over here, we just have this teepee that was from Petco, along with this bend bridge that was also from Petco. Then heading towards the right side of the cage, I just have this um, boredom breaker I think it's like a rainbow bridge and I ordered this off Amazon and I've been wanting it forever and then I just have this six and a half inch silent spinner that I got from PetSmart and then I just have these two woodland getaways one is the Syrian size and the other one is the dwarf hamster size and I got those from Tysol then I just have another Bender Bridge from PetSmart and a large guinea pig hut from Petco. So then down from the hamster cage in this unit, I just have my hamster food in this jar I got from Ikea. And I believe that my hamster mix is a mixture of Harry Hamster and Phytocraft Complete Menu, I believe. And then back here I just have some mealworms and some broken up millet. So then over here, I just have my entire drawer that is just full of hamster stuff. So I'm just going to kind of ravage through here and separate some things, and then I'll show it to you guys. First up here, I just have my hamster mixture. So this is just some extra stuff. So this is just the hairy hamster and another bag of the hairy hamster. And then I just have the Bitecraft, and they're just all in there so they can stay fresh for a little while. So then I just have these um, little balls, and I don't use these anymore just because they're really cruel if you think about it. You're sticking your hamster in a little plastic ball where, you know, they don't really rely on eyesight like humans. They rely on, like, their whiskers and their touch to kind of get around, so I don't use those. Or that one. Those are really old that I used when I got my first hamster. So then I just have some chinchilla bath sand and some toilet paper that I shred up sometimes and I give it to my hamster. Then I have in the back here I have some Christmas dishes and some plastic bowls that I got with my hamster cage. Um, then I just have this popsicle hideout that I made. Back here I just have some broken up puzzle playgrounds. I just made some bins and shoved some of the extra pieces in there. Then here I just have some pieces from my first hamster cages, which were those plastic cages. And then I have some of those water bottles from there as well. And over here I just have a playground that has been taken apart. And I have some more plastic pieces from those cages and also some extra puzzle playground pieces. And then to the right I just have some oat spray and an extra water bottle. Over here I just have some... Tropical Carnival Millet Spray, and this was originally $5, but it was only $2, so I decided to pick that up, and I believe this is from Tysol. And then I just have the All Living Things Dried Meal Worms that I think I picked up from PetSmart, I believe. And then here I just have some of the plastic tubes that I believe are from, not from the OVO, but the other brand which I'm sure, oh, Critter Trail, that's what it is. And then I'll just have here some plastic bins that are empty. So yeah, that's all that's in that drawer. And now I'm gonna go ahead and show you what's under my bed. Under my bed here, I have a few Critter Trail things. So I'm just gonna go ahead and I'm gonna pull those out for you and I'll be right back. So these are just all of my Critter Trail cages and pieces. So I just had three in total, and before I had my Detoff, I kept my first hamster in three Critter Trails. 
So. And if you're wondering why they still have bedding in them, is because when I had my other hamster, Cream Puff, and Cream Puff and Turtle lived beside each other, I would put them each in one of these while I cleaned their cage, just so they wouldn't get in together and start fighting. And then down here, I just have a few extra things that I scavenged from around my room. So here is just a living world guinea pig sized hut, and I give this to Turtle just because he really likes larger huts. And then I have a broken silent spinner, and a living world water bottle with a carrot in it, a critter bath, and two plastic houses. So I hope you guys enjoyed this week's video. If you did enjoy, don't forget to leave it a like and comment any video suggestions you have for me. And don't forget to hit that subscribe button for more videos like this one. So thanks for watching guys. See you in the next one. Bye.